Oh, and guys, stay tuned because I'm going to show you my bedroom last and you're going to want to see it. We have the main piece, which is the chandelier. We're actually going to put a reindeer right here, so. Three, two, one. Rosie and welcome back to my channel as you can see I am sitting in front of a Christmas tree so that only means one thing I am going to be doing a Christmas house tour for you guys and I'm so excited because I will be basically showing you all around my house in new places but just with all Christmas decorations so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one and stay tuned all the way to the end because we just got a new kitchen and it's never been seen before so you're going to want to see it oh and guys we're going outside so I'm outside of my house now and this is just the traditional way that I always start my Christmas house tour or any house tour so just starting outside we have our signature bows that we have every single year with the original red color for Christmas and they have gold down them and then we also have lights but we can't show them to you now because it is light and you can't really see them so we'll show them to you when it gets dark so let's go in and see inside of the house Oh, before we go in guys, I'm going to show you some of the outside. So behind me is my garage and this is new because we've never had a bow on this garage. We didn't have one last year because our garage was under construction. That is a car because the main road's right there. Um, but it's exactly the same as that one and I think it just suits the theme. So that's the garage. So guys, you've never seen this part of my garden before, but I'm not going to show you that yet, but it's just some plants. But let's stick to the Christmas theme. This is our front entrance, and it has some of this, I don't know what this is, but it's like this tree stuff with some ball balls. And then it's obviously got another red bow right here. And it's got these reindeers. And last year, you might recognize these. These were in my room, but they don't suit my theme this year. So we put them outside. Let's go in. Oh, and guys, stay tuned because I'm going to show you my bedroom last and you're going to want to see it. We are in, guys, and it probably looks a bit different because we have had an extension done and that's our new kitchen, which we'll show you later. And we've just decorated our house very differently, but this is probably the best Christmas that we've decorated, if you know what I mean. But I can't wait to show you, so let's show you around. This is our living area slash like chill out area. And we have the chimney with our stockings and just some cool little ornaments to just make it feel very Christmassy. And we have even added some cool little Christmas pillows onto the sofas. So yeah, this is the front room. Over here is like a little cute display. We've added some gold flowers, obviously a gold Santa, and just some feathers and some stockings just to give it that little va va voom feel, you know? <laughs> so, guys, over here is just like a little place for decorations and we don't actually don't have our fairies on the tree this year so we have just put them here to make them feel like they are still involved in Christmas. So we are back over by the door there's a tiny little bow at the back of it we had this last year so let's not focus on that but let's focus on our christmas tree and i think this is like the best christmas tree that we've ever decorated and my auntie emma actually helped aka lily bake's mum um but i absolutely love it it's got this velvet kind of ribbon on top of it and i just think it's really lovely this year so that's the tree So this is our little Santa corner and we did have Santa last year but it wasn't as good as this. This is probably the best Santa like display that we've ever done and it's got this little train with a train track here. Let's turn it on, see if it actually works. The 
train is Romeo's favourite part, but mine are actually the Nutcrackers. I really love Nutcrackers because they just remind me of the movie The Nutcracker. So there are some stockings here hung up and Santa's actually holding them up. And then there's these kind of sacks here. I think they're just um, filled with stuffing just for the look. I don't think there's actually stuff in them. But hopefully on Christmas morning, Santa might fill them up, but you never know. But um, this is Santa and he's as tall as me. Right, oh my gosh, wait, there's a button. <laughs> Merry Christmas! He sings songs! It's the most wonderful time of the year. Can't go that way. So moving on guys to our new dining table. It has like gold kind of like diamond type things with like the seat. I always sit on the sofa bit because that's my little space. But then we've got the table and we've got all of this tree stuff. It's kind of the same as what was on the, um, the stairs. And then we've got these two big candles and then there's also some ball balls to just top it off. And my mum actually made this, which was really cool. Oh, there's also mistletoe. This is all mistletoe. So this is normally where I sit on the sofa area or, or I sit like in the middle and Romeo sits right here and then my dad sits there and my mum sits there. So let's move on to the kitchen if I can get out of the table. Before we go into the kitchen, which I'm really excited to show you, we actually got new nutcrackers and this is probably one of my favorite ornaments that we've ever had because look, ready, watch the mouth. It opens and stuff. But that's the Nutcracker, it's gold, silver and white and it's obviously grit glittery and I just love it because it's like, it's, it's, it's my height. And then there's another one over here and I just think it's a great entrance, it's like they're guarding the kitchen. It's very echoey! Hello! Hi! So guys, welcome to my kitchen. This has never been seen before. Only a short little bit of over there and it wasn't even decorated. So, this is my kitchen. We have our stove and it has the GDMRR and that is Greg, Danielle, McClelland, Rosie and Romeo, which is great. And then we have this right here, which is beautiful. It's like gold and it's kind of like got flowers and feathers and all stuff like that. And this is what my auntie Emma actually done. And then we've got the two cherubs, I think they're called, at the top. And we've had them for years. And I'm surprised they're not broke. But up here, my auntie Emma done this as well. It's exactly the same as over the stove, but just longer. And then these, this is really funny. My mum and auntie Emma were standing on chairs. And it took so many tries to get these up. But they persevered. And they look amazing. So we're really happy with that. And then... We have the main piece, which is the chandelier. And I think this just tops it all off because it just feels like, I, it kind of gives a Christmas tree vibe because it goes out and then it's obviously got baubles on it. So yeah. And then we have a little gold reindeer. And then this is where we play Christmas songs, but we can't play them right now because we get copyright. That's my kitchen. <laughs> So we are going outside into the back now and there's not much going on out here but it's fine because at night it looks so magical. But we have put some lights around the top and then these two kind of little lanterns actually they light up um, but this isn't open yet but as we get further into Christmas we're going to open it up and it's going to have heating and everything like that but I just wanted to show you it anyways as it is a house tour. Guys, it looks so magical at night, so I'm going to try and show you it later, but we're actually going to put a reindeer right here, so, yeah. And guys, look at night, this all glows up and you can see inside, it just looks so beautiful. Yeah. 
This is one of my favorite places, guys. This is the staircase. We also have nutcrackers and we collect each one every year. So this is the new addition. Romeo calls this one the king because he has a cape. Don't really want to break it, but this is what he looks like. And he's gold and he's got a velvet cape on, which is really cool. And his mouth opens like that. Um, but my mum spends like literally half the time on this staircase. We also added a mirror. My dad added a mirror. And I think we're gonna keep this here anyways, but it looks really good. So now I can take photos here. Let's quickly have a look at Romeo's room. This is his room. He decorated it with help from Lily, my cousin Lil's. And it has these stocking lights around his bed because he wanted them there. And then he wanted tinsel here, so Lil's put that up. And then he's got a tiny little tree. I actually put this on. He was like, Rosie, it's not balancing. And I'm like, I will make it balance. Um, and then he's obviously got his gun. It's a nerf gun. But then look at this. Look how cool this is. This is a Hot Wheels advent calendar and each day you get a mini car. So that's going to keep him occupied throughout Christmas. But that's Romeo's room. Don't tell him that I've been in there because he'll probably scream at me. But And then the banister we've just um, covered with lights, which just gives it a little touch. We haven't done much on this area. But upstairs in my room, we have done a lot. So that basically what i done is i just stole some leftovers from my mum's decorations and just put them in my room so i found this wreath and i just thought why not use it and then i found this gold thing and i thought green doesn't really go with my room so I put a bit of gold in i put an r here so that you know it's rosy and then here i have put gold tinsel all around my banister this was actually quite hard to do because I couldn't really stick it to my banister, but I got there in the end. And then I've got some fairy lights that just go all around my room, as you can see. I'm not joking, these fell down about 14 times and I persevered and I got them up because I like decorating. I've hung a stocking on my chandelier. My mum wasn't over happy with it, but you know, I like it there, so we're putting it there. And then I've just got these, which I actually had last year. Some of these decorations you might recognise, but I had these last year. I put them there and I love them. And then I've done this on my mirror and I just thought, oh my gosh, it looks really good. I didn't even actually know. I was about to say I didn't have to sellotape it, but that's a lie. I did have to sellotape it. And then I just stuck these beads on there, which looks pretty cool. Um, and then I've got this from last year that I've just put on there. And then we have my Christmas tree. And we put it here um, this year because for some reason I put it over there and it didn't fit. So we put it here and I think it looks better here. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and it's got more tinsel. And then here, this is quite minimum because I didn't want to like block my view, if you know what I mean. So I just put some beads here. Um, my mum's filming, so if you can see her in the mirror, sorry about that. <laughs> So I found this in my mum's leftover box and I thought, why not make use of it? So it looks kind of like um, mistletoe or icicles. And then I hung baubles over it and these came in a nine pack. And this has fell down a lot as well. It fell down last night, but I put it up again. Um, that thing makes so much noise. So I've just shut all of my blinds and my windows and I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the dark, but it already looks cosy and the lights are on. So, are you ready? Three, two, one. This is what it looks like in the dark. And I actually I actually think it looks so good. I'm really proud of myself. I've done this by myself over the span of three days. So, I'm pretty proud of it. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it because you've got your own style, but I like it because this is my style, so. These lights don't really work, but I've put them on there anyways. Because <laughs> I use leftover stuff. So the last thing and all that's left to do is just to change my bed covers also. This bed is very, very squeaky. Um, but I'm going to change it to Christmas um, bedding late in a later date. So for now, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, 
please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos just like this one and also we are going to try to insert some videos of the outside of my house and some of my house at night so that you can see them so if you would like to I just hit my voice box but if you would like to stay tuned for that you can but if you don't want to I'll see you next time bye